total atomic annihilation. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Hey everybody, welcome back to Just Nukem Gaming. This is Nuke here. Today, we're taking our look at Alan Wake 2. So we're here at Saga. We're still working our way through Valhalla Nursery Home. And we found a little overlap as we're looking for, for Anderson, our supposed grandfather. Yeah. We're looking... A little, a little wet. All right, let's see if we can hopefully locate him. Hopefully save him, because he might be taken. Not completely sure. Okay. The body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. The local girl, Nora Hesburgh, age 15, who went missing on Saturday of last week, was discovered dead a sealed underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. The cause of death has been determined to be drowning. The incident occurred during a gathering of local youth at the bunker. Nor was her first reported missing by her partner's son or by her parents Sunday morning. They discovered their daughter had not yet returned from returned home the night before. Police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. People are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its young member. She was really drowned accidentally or not. Have a and no map for here, of course. This isn't real. Mom, help me. I, I Fuck this place. Leave it. Leave it, Saga. Ground lady. Am I going in circles? Looks like. Going. That up. Starting to get a little ominous. No power. Can't use the switch. I need to get the power on to use the switch.
killing. Yeah, that kind of brings me back to the first alleyway. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? I would assume so. Healing. Try not to rush through here. The only way. Run straight into taken. Okay, this is the first room where we came in at. It's a loop. Like the others. I need to reach the center. It was too late. Cynthia. She's here. A dead end. Oh, because that's not where we came in through. The drowned lady, yeah. Thought. Right this time, though. Oh, back here again. <sighs> oh, a saga. Backwards. I keep ending up back here. Why? I go. Okay, uh, I wasn't open before. new oh yeah stairway up
Oh. Find the key. I guess you can't just use the screwdriver. That'd be too easy. Okay. That's going to be very helpful. Oh. Oh, that's going to change some stuff. This is going to get us entry into a whole lot of new places. Got no map. I don't need any of these items. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a good shot on my behalf. Definitely spooked me. Okay, we don't need to go backwards, so. like that. Of course, if we're going to be taking these bolt cutters out of here, makes me wonder how real the overlap is. We're done with the fuses. Parking stuff. That's not great when you're standing in water. Not dawdle. Oh, 
close to Allen again. Back again. Oh, changes. Gotta go deeper. Welcome to the Ocean View Hotel and Spa. Players. Bolts. Our inventory is just so full. Yet yeah, found a way to expand her inventory the way we did Allen's. Four, we're getting close to him. Here. Good feelings here. Don't want to. I need to get the lights that. to reach him. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. He's coming. Oh. So damn dark down here. I'm underwater. It's a body. Dang it. Where'd she go? Seriously, what are we supposed to do here? Shit. I deserve this. Just leave me here. I guess we got dodge her. I gotta get out of the water. Okay, uh. Okay, we cannot. Okay, we can't. There must be a way to get the power back on. Okay, we can't fight her yet. That's. That's what's going on. Sorry. I'm sorry. 
Get away. A little bit of healing because she's messing us up. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Breaker boxes. Gun ammo, yes, yes. Closer to light. Climb up that. I don't know. Yes, we can. Oh, I think we were. Su yeah, we're supposed to go. Into here. So now we need to get... Back in here. It's cold. Dark. I can't see a god. 
damn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Hmm. I want to go down there. Okay, this is a problem. She does not give us much space to heal. It's cold. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Cynthia took the record, and I brought it back. Okay, we got her. And you again. The FBI. The FBI. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? We can finish this. Leave out the clicker. No, 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 you can help. We, we, we must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? Last in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. 
to my family. Tor. Uh, oh, fuck it. Oh, we got him. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> what answers he has. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? Equi? Can't reload our guns yet, so let's see if we could talk to Tor and find out what he knows. How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While well, everyone else forgot? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. That's about your mom. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? 
Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. About who her father is, then. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Definitely very interesting here. Information on Tor is here in the overlap. Yeah, gotta find him and get the fuck out. Oh, I kind of did that. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. We got ages here. <sighs> The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Okay, we don't have any for that. <laughs> Inner That's not right. Eh? Okay. Wake needs there. to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Clicker. Mission on overlap. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? Oh yeah, she's starting to figure it out. that Can't do anything on those. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake to stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. 
Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. I don't think you'll see more moonshot. The FBC is holding Wake at the sheriff's station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus, Saga. Wait a second. Oh, Get to the okay, station we got flipped around there. To wake. Okay. Uh. And hurt. A way to go out the back side. Center. There was another bolt in there. Run around and grab. Another page. When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears rolling uh, in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. The lamp it made her prone to being able to be taken by them. It's nineteen eighty eight. A face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared. The old gods facing something even more powerful. Something harder to define, even. Or, changing the perspective? Raving lunatics, all. Caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between. Who had always stood in between who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Yeah. I think 
grabbed everything we could from here. If we can up this gate and maybe do a little exploring back behind the place. Yes. All right. So looks like got a little trail, bolt stash. A couple if we follow paths here. Here. Oh, okay. Another page. Every night was bingo night at the Valhalla nursing home. Each time Rose drew a ball from the cage and called out its number, some of the residents shouted bingo, no matter what was on their cards. Some of them sat mute, their cards full, never calling out. Some of them would try to steal the ball from her. Some of them would chastise the others for acting out. It was like herding a clouder of cats. Rose didn't mind. She liked cats. She knew she was where she was supposed to be, with her little Vikings waiting for the hero to come. Tonight, the residents were restless, more so than usual. Ati was wearing Blum's coveralls again. Tor stood by the phone. Too late. Rose saw the hammer in his hand. The garden lights started to flicker, the darkness and rain pressing against the windows. The time drew nigh. Eh? Disappeared years ago. Disappeared, you say? Okay, this is all coming together now. All of this back around. You go. Up and in here somewhere. There's another cult stash. Oh, there we go. Screw driver? No. Maybe we need to follow the blue signs to find the key. There we go. Oh, 
what we find. Can't hide from the trees. We are everywhere. Can't pick any more stuff. And not shotgun shells. You're not going to let me take it. But it's on the map, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, we can always come back if we need the stuff. Head down the hill. A couple more stashes. Yeah, a little building up here. <clears throat> Rifle ammo, that's good. A poster for Audi and the Janders. Down pathways. Are you? Apologize. Yeah, I gotta remember y'all kind of split up sometimes. Get my bolts back from you guys either. In this. Hang on, it. stash all right there's angle Hourglass. That middle one.
three. See if we can figure this out. There we go. Okay. A little bit to figure out the right order. Have some serious, serious inventory issue. Oh, no. Bang though. Ranger station and cash up there. screwdriver air another one of those rhymes House first, then wool. Hey, with that. Locations for some of these. Manning your stations, Dr. Campbell. Acknowledged and understood, that goes for the both of us, Michaels and me. Really was not gallivanting at, you put it, though. I was attacked by some stupid animal out there in the woods, and Michaels helps me get medical attention. How? Know that all of you read your messages, of course, in any case, orders received. It's come to my attention that both of you have left your post on several occasions while on duty, Galvant round town or person on personal business. This is unacceptable. You are under strict FBC protocols regarding covertness and confidentiality. As your supervisor, I'm responsible for your conduct and at all times. If you find work boring, too bad. You're to fill your roles and duties as I see fit and as the project requires. I am changing your post. I'll be overseeing the watery area as is now most used. As now, it has the most test sites to cover. Ranger cabin here by the base of operations. Vega, you're moving to Cauldron Lake. Which finder station? Michaels, you are staying in the Bright Falls station. I don't want to hear any excuses, but I do need you to acknowledge these orders. Months ago, quite a bit of ways back.
They're all so soft Another deer? and sad. Here. Check out this old nursery room. A child needs their mother to keep them safe, and a home as their hiding place. Because outside the monsters roam and chase, when they ring your doorbell, don't yell, don't tell them to go away, give them treats and pray they won't rock your house down to the ground. Okay. Maybe other Thanks, Saga. Hmm. There we go. Shotgun. Okay, yeah, all the footprints. Okay, we're going to drop something. The I'm a pad. I can never have too many charms. Okay, that's another coffee mug. Any of those. So let's go check out that cult stash. Then we'll have everything over here pretty well checked out. See if we could check out the boat yard, maybe. For town. things but I think we'll end the episode before we really do all that explore another cult box yep check this one out Reindeer, Santa, and a chimney. There's a chimney on the ranger station, so... Maybe? There it goes. There it goes. I 
Rifle ammo. It took me forever to figure out the hint wasn't Santa's butt. Okay. Why are we making this so complicated? Just give us normal fucking keys. Hard those because I want those flares or the flashbang. Back. Grab the second one that was back. Or no, that was shotgun ammo. There's the flashbang. Okay, yeah. I want those. Got a couple flashbangs. Over to that. Yeah, I hear somebody out there. We're gonna ignore you. Head over to that last little area, then we'll run back into town. Boatyard has for us. We can catch your things everywhere. There's another lunchbox. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero... Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the knitwork to guide the hero to the secret stash as she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitwear to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the knitwork. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. A clever use of the person. Now we know who was leaving all this stuff. Rose. Have enough to upgrade. Okay, we can upgrade a few things. That Saga stood actually still, sounds pretty good. Emptying her mind, focusing, breathing in, breathing out. She aimed the rifle, ready for the kill shot. We had. I didn't increase her inventory. I'd be very. happy right now woods were dark I held my breath I could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees I was scared my heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against his cage shivered I was cold too I saw a shape emerge from the trees it was a menacing large shape a fat shape it looked at me with evil glowing eyes I gasped. No. It had seen me. Growled and lurched forward. Lurched toward me. I ran. I ran and ran and ran and ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore. So I stopped running. I feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. About to get me. I was gone for sure. I ran again. I'd never been so scared. Not ever. This was the end. I wish someone, anyone, would come to save me. Rose, you got some bit of problems going on here. I 
anything good in the boat yard? I don't really see anything. Boat. Check out the boat. Oh, can't go in there either. There's a rhyme over here. All right. Five little monsters out on the sea, competing to see who the winner will be. They rock their boats to find out who floats until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried in the sea she replied. On the bottom they will rot if they will not stop rocking their boats. Monster Okay. Mother, yes. That what got changed. You're down. Blow that. Yeah, I suppose this could have been the monsters they were talking about. that off I have to come back and grab that see what that is grab see what that arm was and we're going to end the episode there my vaults.
Look at that. Another charm. Okay. Can't stun enemies on flashlight boost. Over. This is quality and quantity of resources found. Not sure if we're going to use that one or not. Doesn't sound. Sounds okay. Yeah, I think we're going to end the episode here. Time will pick up. We should be able to do. Bit more exploring around town. Bolt stash here. Hard to see. Driver lock. Door. Bolt stash back behind the place. Exploring around town, then go over to the sheriff's office. B. I can't look at the other maps because I know there was more bolt cutter doors where we could do some exploring possibly. Everything that was in there. Yeah, so we're going in the episode here. So yeah, we got some stuff to do next time. Maybe a lot of little stuff. I might do some of that off camera. I'm not sure just yet. I figured that out a little bit later. Yeah, things are definitely getting more and more interesting. I'm really enjoying this game. All right. So thanks for joining me, guys. I do appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. Some more Alan Wake 2. Mm -hmm.